all right back out friday night uh and it's gonna pour tomorrow so i'm hitting it out getting out here now at the plum dumpster very nice brass uh, a piece of copper and that other dumpster over there i checked that one it's empty and there's a roll-off back over there not that not the bx one i haven't hit that one yet another one at that other warehouse over there that one vacant there's on and then a bunch of cardboard at the moment but garbage disposal nice brass even though that needs to be washed out or something that stinks that definitely was a drain or sewage or something it stinks i kind of took a look around in here nothing else garbage plastic and you know garbage pizza boxes that don't belong but oh yeah although i really want to get over there where i'm pretty sure competition is but i also was thinking I don't want to miss out on this because I know this is good. usually got good stuff in here. So we're going to go hit the BX. We're going to go finish that street over there. And we're going to go over there to the competition area. But not a bad start. Got the cleaning place and the bane of my existence and the aluminum door. Got no glass in it at least. And uh, except for I don't own it on a trailer. I can't take this. Unless there's a way to take it apart. I don't know about... Like obviously, uh, that's not gonna work. But I did get grab this. This luckily was close enough where I didn't have to go in. But I had to go in for that other piece. And these dumpsters I hate having to get in because the way you gotta bend your back is all weird and funky. And when you step up in there to kind of then you gotta bend your back weird, and then kind of fall back in. And then you got my helmet on, so you gotta worry about smacking your head on that. Hey, these dumpsters I hate having to climb in. But of course, it was way back there. But uh. Anyways, I'm going to go check fire and that roll off behind this one. It definitely looks like it was swapped out. It looks like it might be a little smaller one, so, which is good for me because I'm short and don't like climbing dumpsters. So, let's keep checking these other. Alright, so my BX roll off was, it was, wasn't really full. It was kind of more on the bottom, but there was crab all around. A piece of plywood over my, where the ladder is on the one corner. There was stuff along the back door. There wasn't really anything in there. It looked like there was one bundle of some kind of wire. It wasn't BX or anything. I don't know. I'm not too concerned. I don't know. These boxes might be useful. It's from that dumpster on the other side of those tractor trailers. There was an employee out back having a smoke break. So I wanted to grab it and go over where I found all those inverters. There it is. Whoa. Sweet. The bottom router thing. Potato, potato to me. Sorry guys. <laughs> Alright. Nothing else beat my competition at least. So I don't know. These kinda of look like they might be useful for something. So I just grabbed them and I just grabbed the one box or the one set and grab and go. <laughs> Wanted to hurry up and get out of there. Like I said, then pull you down the smoke break. Probably didn't even notice I went past, but whatever, grab and go. So I don't know. Those might be useful or I might just throw them in my motorcycle. Well, anyways, I don't like the fire there is for the casters. And this piece of aluminum lights in it. It's got a light bar of a fire engine or the truck, truck rescue, ambulance, utility, whatever it came off of. Alright, so there's what? That one roll off. And there's like a few stragglers on the way out. We're pretty much just about done. So I'm gonna hurry up and see if I can get this finished. Like four more dumpsters left. Alright, so hot and two pans to finish off this area. Well, kinda. I have that dumpster and then there's one more over there around the corner. Perfect. Aluminum. Oh yeah, perfect. All aluminum. And uh they look like they're held in by screws, so I can show you a little unscrew them. But anyways, the trailer's being a pain in my ass again. It's doing what it's was doing that other week. Where no matter what, it just keeps falling off. Like it doesn't. Part of the problem seems like it doesn't go on this straight, so it just keeps falling off. James even says he hates this. He would like to just replace it with how the other one is, where it's like a set thing that it goes into, and you don't clamp it on. Because it's even worse. You got to find a pole, and then you're trying to screw with it. But then, for half the time, the bike falls over. So I lose my patience even more. I can't wait till he actually does replace it. But anyways, that was it. Over here, nothing else. So I'm just gonna check that one and that one over there, and I'll be done. 
Friggin' bug just flew right at my mouth and wasn't by my ear again. Camera feels like it, or my camera, my head mount light feels like it's not weird because it's dead. It's like twisted and twisted. Anyways, I'm gonna try tighten, trying to get this back on here. Hopefully the right way for the 30th time. Because the problem is you just, because it's not on right, so as soon as you start moving and hit a bump, it just falls right off. Alright, good thing this is here, because otherwise we'd be in trouble. But I don't want this to keep just sitting on this. Because A, that's eventually just going to break. And then I don't want it smacking into my rim, because this is a, the brand new rim. This is the rear one. I had to get that brand new rim when that bearing, whatever, in there broke. Great. So anyways, I'll try and fix this again. It's starting to get dark out, so be my competition at least. So that's the biggest win. Alright, for the July. We got rid of 600 pounds on Wednesday. Time to find some more. Hopefully. That's the plumbing dumpster. Hardly anything. I'm starting to think they had their day changed or something, because this is the last three times I've been here that it wasn't really full. Of course I'm also button this week at well, the 4th of July is Saturday, so it shouldn't screw up any of the trash routes, but I check that sump pump box, nothing in it, nothing here, oh, there's some bottles on the bottom, but I'm not going to go digging for them on the bottom there, cardboard, nothing, and then that aluminum, that's nice, some aluminum or stuff here, nothing new over here either, so, anyways, I'm going to keep on going, day just started. Well, this is not a good start. As you can see, this is empty. Uh, I'll figure out. Show you guys right in here. Literally, all we got over there was had the door dumpster. These two pieces of aluminum. And this. And that's literally it. Core dumpster empty. Or wasn't, was, yes, was empty. Uh, fire. There was a TV in the back. I didn't feel like getting in because it's. If it's anything like the last TV, I don't, it's not worth it, I don't know if, plus I don't know if I can get back out of the dumpster. And that roll off, again, nothing, really, nothing. Not empty, just nothing I want. But, in here, this is a good section, this is the first part. It's a good representation, because there's dumpsters from every company, although there's technically two now. Modern, bought out, Republic, at least in the local area, though anything in western New York, they bought out. But anyways, empty empty. That one is actually full. This is empty, as you saw. Waste management on the other side of that Metallico dumpster. Empty. Ma the one with the camera. Empty. Empty. Those are locked. Empty. So we'll see what the rest of the area has. But it's looking like 4th of July is going to be a dud. Like I said, it holidays during the week usually is what screw will, could screw you trash wise because then they'll come early or whatever but it's saturday it's tomorrow they worked today and they don't come here on saturday none of these are empty get emptied on saturday i'm like 99 percent sure because we've come here obviously saturday sundays before you just get dark empty during the week so i don't know but whatever this is just one little section we'll see if there's any like flukes like that one that probably got emptied and then they refilled it already you know, things like that. And we'll find out. But uh, it's not looking good at the moment. Which, I mean, kind of is nice, because we weren't trying to get rid of everything right now, so we can reorganize the basement first. It couldn't come downstairs anyways. But uh, we're like, at least something for coming out here. It's hot out. It's not too bad now, because it's later in the day, but I'm still sweating everywhere. Alright, let's keep going. Totally unexpected. The spotted Bambi. On the string cutting over from those that other section, because I'll come down here and go around through the back. But no, found Bambi. I wasn't expecting Bambi over here. Anyways. Alright. Back with the plum dumps. Those are fireworks out there. Like I said, 4th of July is tomorrow, so. People are really going to be going nuts with the fireworks, although they have been for the last like two months driving their neighbors and everyone off the wall. So I'm gloves off. You want to know what I, what I found over there? That's it. Literally those two pieces of wire. So 
security and there was more garbage, but I'm starting to think that they don't not they don't throw that stuff away anymore. The cameras and all that. I'm starting to think they don't even throw it away anymore. And it's like that or someone's literally checking it like every single day or something like. I can't explain it. Anyways. I wanna just see since I have literally nothing. If I could fit these on the trailer. And if I could take them home, the problem is I only have a one strap in the bunk bag that I normally bring with me. Now, in case I do kind of need to, which is more just in case I need to, like, tarp the cover. Or tarp the cover, that makes sense. Take the cover and, like, strap it down or something. Like, all sorts of loose stuff in there and make sure it doesn't come flying out. So, I don't think this is going to work very well. But I figured I'd try see if I could take at least one of them home. Because as you can see, I literally have four things. Five things. Literally. Five things. So. Anyways. I can't really do this thing handedly. So anyways. And these. I shall probably bend these except for it makes it hard to get the brushes out. Anyways, I'm going to see what I can do. See if I can do anything. One or two maybe. Maybe three. And we'll see how many more fireworks I hear. In the meantime, as you can see. Kinda no point, it's not even dark out. Like I said, people, they've been doing it over there just to piss, piss their neighbors off for months, for months now, so. And it's called The Projects. But it's all privately owned. So, anyways. Let's get, let's see if I can get this loaded. Um, sure. I think this works. Like I said, I got the one strap kind of around it right here. In the bar. We're both tied into this little thing, which is not meant to be tied on point, but that's what I use it for. I don't know. Find out, I guess. Probably make a ton of noise, but. Uh huh. I don't know. Try to cheat your trotters. I don't know. Should be fine. It's resting on this. I don't know. Let's find out if this is a terrible idea or not. Or if I'm gonna have to walk this back home. Pretty sure I got them all. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. A few pieces of steel, but whatever. Just a few pieces. I don't care. Okay. I'm touching them up. Gloves and this is disgusting. Anyways. I usually take a light, uh, this in fact I might wipe my handlebars down anyway and my brakes and my camera and everything and I'm taking a shower when I get home so let's find out probably walk it through this field I might have to walk it up the hill it's a bit of a hill back over there but otherwise once I hit the street I should be fine alright let's hope this is not a disaster Made it back. May or may not have killed my side walls a bit, but... Ow. That's a door. But we made it. So, get these offloaded. I'm not entirely sure where I'm putting them. I don't know. Add it to the aluminum board. Or stick it around back to the other shed. Probably add it on top of the aluminum hoard. As you can see, I got quite the hoard going. Aluminum prices are only 21 cents for old sheets, so not exactly thrilling, considering I know back before, or last year, this was definitely 25 cents a pound, so, four whole cents difference, but like I was talking, like with stainless steel, I wasn't arguing over four cents, but obviously this is more than a pound. <laughs> It's quite a lot, probably 100 pounds. Of course, this is mixed of sheet, extruded, and then like right here, there's a radiator, a little bit of aluminum wire, like it's mixed. It's all mixed, it's not all sheet. A lot of it's, a lot of it's downspouts and stuff, some of it's sheet as well. Or, and there's some extruded and stuff in here. Mostly sheet, though. Anyways, we'll add these nice pieces on top, and, uh, that's it for 4th of July, although this will definitely be combined with the week after 4th of July, and then 
uh, you'll see that all the scrapyard runs before this. In theory, that should be the video before this. Anyways, that's it for this week. See you next week.